Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey. Today I'm gonna to introduce a Raquel Welch style. It's a long, lush, voluptuous, sexy style, but there's a lot you want to know about this before you buy, coming up. So let's talk about this Raquel Welch style. This is called Nice Move. It's in the color Shaded Biscuit, RL1923 SS. Look at that gorgeous layering on this style, wow. So this is a mid to long length. Very lush, dense, voluptuous style with a ton of body and just the perfect amount of sexiness. This wig style was sent to me by Wig Studio One for this review today. So you could check it out, all of the details before you buy. I will attach a product link below the video in the description section. If you scroll down, you'll locate a link labeled Find Raquel Welch's Nice Move at Wig Studio One. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can explore all of the colors and the pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. Don't forget to message us if you need help at support at wigstudio1.com and visit us on our other social media. We have a very well-appointed YouTube channel, Instagram page, and private Facebook group. All of those links are below. I'm presenting it to you like this so that I can show you the inside of the cap and then we will apply this. Now this cap is a little unique for Raquel Welch. They do have some caps out there like this, but if you'll notice right away, you're looking at a lace front and a center monofilament part. Now what you wanna know about that is that the lace front does not extend back into the ear tab. I don't know why they don't just take it back into the ear tab because that leaves that seam right there very vulnerable. And I really like it when they extend, that just gives us so many options to style away from the face. But it's your typical, very beautiful lace front. And then that, that center monofilament part. So you're looking at about an inch and a half there at the narrowest point, all the way back to the crown. So they don't skimp on that part. It is pretty wide and obviously very long. This is a part of their memory cap collection, a very comfortable cap. You'll notice the silicone along the elastics there that gives you a nice custom-like fit and feel. A closed velvet ear tab, lots of fibers spliced in there, which I love. It always gives better coverage. And then you have the extended felted nape with the uh, Velcro style adjusters. So what you wanna know is that this fits typical of Raquel Welch. Uh, they call it an average size, but I believe that it's probably better suited for average large than it would be for petite average. I'm having to make an adjustment to this just to accommodate my petite average circumference. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna make that adjustment now. So this is directly out of the box. I didn't use any product on it. I didn't use any styling. I did shake it out and then just kind of marveled at this layering. Look how beautiful. Now this is a part of the True to Life Fiber family, which is heat friendly. All right, let's go ahead and apply. Okay, now this is a truckload of hair. Can I just say it? It weighs over six ounces. Um, I have never experienced a style like this in this in this kind of a shape and layering with that had such a high density. Now that density is what's giving you that lush feminine look and appeal. You just want to toss this hair around. It's the kind of hair that you've always wanted for yourself. And it's absolutely decadent and gorgeous. It's kind of like dessert, you know? I mean, all desserts taste good, right? But do you want a little dried up brownie? Or do you want the big brownie a la mode? And this is kind of what you're getting here. This is just really up a notch or two. Um, just gorgeous. So. You're looking at a total length of around 16 inches from what I can tell. And then around anywhere between 11 and 16 inches is where you're gonna see this layering. But if you'll notice, it just kinda jumps right off of that lace front, 
feathers back nicely into the style and wow the movement so yeah it's heavy but the body the body keeps it all very buoyant and just lush just lush healthy looking hair I forgot to point this out when I was looking at the inside of the cap but just take a look at how close these weftings are I mean they're practically on top of one another so each one of those weftings is a track of fiber and there is just a ton of them in there in fact I was trying to see through you cannot see through and I can barely even poke my finger through these wefts okay it's just that dense the other thing you want to know is that um, this is loaded every inch of it loaded with that soft pillowy type permatease so let's reapply it here so there is going to be a certain taste and preference for a style like this okay you get all of that beautiful lace front monofilament look from Raquel Welch you get this beautiful heat friendly fiber it feels soft and it's not catching it's just gliding nicely it has a velvety kind of a cuticle feel to it um, but you also need to appreciate a very heavy dense wig style uh, with a lot of permatease so if that is you I think you would be an ideal buyer of this style I love it I think I would probably wear it up quite a bit though because of the density I think that would kind of bother me um, a little bit just because I favor those shorter wig styles but how beautiful I just I think that Raquel Welch does some of the most luxurious wigs on the market in terms of the styles the cap and things like that let's take a look at this lace front though because one thing I noticed was that the lace front was not extended so we want to take a look to see if we can spot those seams so you've got a seam here and here okay now I can't see real well into that camera so I'm not sure how obvious that is what's jumping out me right away is this line of highlights so that platinum is a thick platinum band right there at the front I know a lot of you aren't big fans of this look I would rather have that than dark so let me just put it that way I would rather see it blended more evenly with the rest of the highlight color um, but I think you could obscure those seams very nicely now this monofilament part it runs all the way back to the crown area um, I will have to see in editing but I don't, I'm not even sure that you can see through to the monofilament on such a heavily thickly threaded top which is consistent with the entire wig style just being super dense so you'll have to tell me if you can see down in to the illusion of scalp the good news is you have a lot of parting options when they first came out with the center parts I thought to myself gosh I don't part my hair in the center what am I gonna do um, it's very easy so with a center part you actually get more flexibility I mean this is the next best thing to a lace front full monofilament top if you ask me because if the part is on the left you're pretty much limited to the left the part is on the right which is rare you're kind of limited but when it's in the middle you can go a little bit left of center a little bit right of center or right dead on center whatever your preference is and you can change it very easily now as we talked about this cap is loaded with permatease and a very high density so I don't think there'd be a problem of parting this in any direction and it, with the concern of wefting so you can be the judge but I think it looks pretty good I think you could part this anywhere and still not expose the wefts I mean if it's not directly centered on the monofilament you're not getting that illusion of scalp but I'm not sure you are anyway you know that's one of the downsides of having such a heavy density isn't it but look at that layering and movement Wowzers <laughs> very very nice I do like that that's probably my favorite feature is this layering and movement 
Now, right out of the box, this is the way it looks. Um, and I immediately go to work at just trying to keep it out and away from the face. I cannot get through a wig review with it flopping in my face. That's just not going to happen. So I just use my fingers to rake back. It sort of fleshes out any contour at the front, but it also gives a little bit of a feathery action to the layering. It is a really gorgeous style, isn't it? Kind of like that that's just a little bit right of center but whatever gives you the best look and we're going to go through some of that in styling as well now again this weighs a little over six ounces it feels heavy it feels heavy i would not recommend this style if you live in a warm climate or in the summertime this would be kind of stifling it's perfect for fall and winter especially if you live in a colder climate like I do. Kel Welch's nice move is a truly enviable hairstyle. You're going to grab attention in this one. All right, so one note on this color. I have talked about that shaded biscuit color for a long time. This is my favorite Raquel Welch color. And I have seen variation from style to style, piece to piece in this color. Uh, this color on this particular cell on this particular piece is lighter and cooler than any other shaded biscuit application that I have seen so far. There's more platinum in this blend, which is automatically going to make it brighter, lighter, and cooler. Um, there's less of that warmer, sandy blonde in there, okay? And so that makes it cooler. There is some, some neutral honey, and you still have a medium brown root. Now again, the, uh, the lighting here will emphasize the darkness of the root by a little bit. Sometimes it's helpful if, you, if I can come down on it like this. Now I think, uh, I think they're imp trying to improve their rooting. It's not as dark as you think it is, although it is dark, and there is a lot of contrast, especially against this platinum. But I think it blends well on this particular piece and I'm quite happy with it. I'm going to take you outside for a look and then we are going to do some styling for Raquel Welch's nice move. I know you glasses wearers out there appreciate this segment because I tell you a little bit about how the glasses fit with the particular style that's being reviewed. Um, let's try with glasses here. Okay, so there's a lot of permities in the area. I don't think I will be comfortable with my glasses arms between the ear and the ear tab. It doesn't feel secure. It feels, being, it feels like it's being pushed out into my ear because of all of the permities, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's just go ahead and move this around. You can really get to know and learn a lot about a wig style during this segment. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.